mode. What it do, YouTube? It's your girl, Revy Rose, a.k.a. Revy Rose, and I'm back with another beauty video. So today's video is a versatile fall look. I've done this look twice already for fall, and it has been super cute and easy. So if you're interested in how I did it, please keep watching. All right, so this is pretty much how I did this. Um, I already did my brows because it was just going to take way too long. So I always start with my eyes and I use Urban Decay Primer. You gotta prime the eyes because it makes the eyeshadow sit so much better. So I just put that all over my eyelid as so. And then I use one of my MAC blending brushes to kind of blend out the primer. So it's not all caked up. Blending is essential when doing your makeup. So lots of people ask me like, Brandy, how you do your makeup so good? Like basically blending. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna use my Jaclyn Hill palette. I love this palette. And I'm gonna use, um, I can't remember the name of them, uh, these two shades of brown here. I'll put them in the link below. But basically, I like to make a transition color when I am putting on my shadow so that's the first thing that's going to go above my crease it is a nice color that's going to go in between so the next thing i'm going to use is this lighter orange color and again i'll put these colors in the description box below and i'm just going to make this a little bit more pigmented specifically on the outer corners of my eye so you can see i'm taking that when people say the outer v um the tip of your eye being the bottom of the v is what they mean so just kind of going up and down um, on the outer corners with that orange. Next, I'm going to do my cut crease using um, a concealer of your choice and an angle brush. And I'm just gonna cut out that crease really thinly. So don't get too flustered if the lines aren't extremely perfect. Just try to get them as perfect as you can because again, blending means everything when you're doing your makeup. So everything will be smooth shortly. So gonna kind of make that a little bit more clean do the other side so you see I just kind of tapped a little bit on my lid and looked up um, that's so I know exactly where my eyelids are going to go inside of my eye and where my crease should kind of end if that makes sense so that was a little trick I learned at the Mac counter shout out Mac and yeah so I'm cutting 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 using the angle brush and just like I said blending that in and making it kind of clean around my entire eyelid all right <laughs> I can never decide what colors I want to use sometimes so <laughs> I was really just kind of freehanding it when I made this video but we're gonna go back to the modern renaissance because this is a legacy palette i like to say you must have this if you are a makeup junkie like me and i'm just gonna again blend i'm using a packing brush i like to say it packs the powder right on top of my lid so the type of brush you use really does matter um if you guys are interested just let me know in the comments below if you want me to do a video on brush types because that's kind of a big deal when you're doing makeup and that can kind of give you a lot of anxiety if you don't know what type of brushes to use but yeah I can make a video about that and again just blending that out over where the um, concealer kind of ended on my eyelid to kind of give that a more smooth finish so blend all those harsh lines out and the last thing I'm going to do um, I love doing especially for evening colors take a dark brown and again go back over with that outer V and just really give in some more depth to the eye so if I'm doing something for the evening this was for my Halloween makeup but I did wear this exact same look um, when we went to the zoo so that's a new video coming up. That's a whole nother story. <laughs> it took my time. And so I did this look and I really, really liked it. 
I'm gonna put on some wings. So it was pretty versatile. Um, I was able to uh, make myself a witch, um, and I was also able to, you know, just kind of look like a dope mom for Halloween. Okay, so don't worry about that concealer. I was trying to fix one of my wings. When we do our whole face, that won't even matter. So let's put on some lashes, and bam. That always makes the whole look look better. I use dog cat lashes. They're like four bucks and they're amazing. I love dog cat lashes. Shout them out. Like for real, for real, I'm probably gonna drop me a lash line because I love lashes that much. All right, so last I'm gonna do some highlighter, but I usually wait until I'm done with my entire face um, because we just don't wanna get any eyeshadow powder or anything anywhere, so yeah. All right, so when I'm doing my face, the first thing I'm gonna do is moisturize. So I'm using our Arbonne Super Calm Moisturizer uh, with Tiger Grass Extract. I love, 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 love this moisturizer. If you guys need to revamp your skincare or are interested in any vegan uh, products for self-care, make sure to follow me on Instagram. And yeah, look at that link in my bio. I can never find what I need. It's so funny. Okay, so I'm gonna use a primer and NYX Photo Primer. Um, it's pretty inexpensive. You can find it at any beauty supply store. I use that religiously because it's that bomb. And it goes on pretty smooth. Like, yeah, yeah, you just need to keep that real close. So I just rub that all over my face. And you know, get it all in. I used to use a Makeup Forever uh, Stage One primer, and I really didn't like it because it just became cakey after you rubbed it in too much. This one is not too oily, um, not too greasy, and, and not thick at all. So I absolutely love, love, love this moisturizer. I mean primer. So now that our face is all prepped, I'm gonna go in with Bobbi Brown. Bobbi Brown is one of my favorite concealers to use for my face. I like matte concealers for my brows um, and other things, but Bobbi Brown for my face just is so creamy. It's just like goodness in a bottle. So this is kind of how I do my highlight. Um, I'm not really too big on making like an actual shape because I don't want any harsh lines. So I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Precision Beauty Blender and blend all that in. So this is on a naked face. I'm putting on my concealer first. I know a lot of people put their foundation on first, but this is something I actually saw in a TikTok video. Um, it was like a challenge going out not too long ago, and I really wanted to try it, and my makeup was bomb when I did it. And I was like, honestly, I feel like this is the way it should be. Um, I mean, feel free, this is just my opinion. Uh, do your makeup however you want, because it is an art. Um, but for me, I prefer to put the concealer on now first, under my foundation. All right, so again, blending, blending, blending means everything. So blend all that in, girl. Do not miss no spots. And even then, you could probably blend in some more. <laughs> okay, Fenty Beauty. Love this foundation. Shout out Rihanna. Um, yeah, I kind of ran out of <laughs> my foundation. I kind of need some more. So don't be acting like y'all never had to do this before. So no judging. Kidding. All right, so Smashbox. This is kind of um, something I kind of digged up from the dirt because I don't really use it that often, um, but I do try to use it when I do my highlighting and contouring. So I use my Kat Von D translucent powder wherever I put my concealer under my eyes and jazz, and I'm using this Coco Matchstick from Fenty because we love Fenty Beauty. The shade Coco is what I'm using. And yeah, it's a perfect, 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 perfect concealer stick. I just, I love it. It's very creamy and it goes on very, very nicely. And so on top of that, I'll use, you can use a bronzer if you'd like, or um, the Smashbox contour palette I found mm, maybe about a year ago. And it's handy, it's handy. It definitely comes in handy um, when I'm on the go. And I just kind of need, I ran out of bronzer and kind of need it. So, yeah. Use that. 
But again, blending, blending, blending is everything. So, mm, coming together, coming together. So my Kabuchi brush is usually the last step um, before I start using highlight. So I am putting some highlight in the middle of my eye using my Tarte Chrome Paint Highlighter. I stumbled upon this when I did my $300 Sephora haul. You guys can check out my other videos and I am in love with it. I hope they make other colors. All right, next I'm gonna do some highlighter under my brow using Candle um, Pigment from the Toasted Tarte Palette. Y'all know I am true to my Toasted Tarte Palette. It ain't never going nowhere. This thing is bomb. Okay, so then I'm gonna just blend that in. Again, blend, blend, blend. You don't want any harsh lines. And that's pretty much most of the face. Um, I'm gonna put on some blush. And this uh, spice palette from, blush and highlight palette from Sephora has been everything like I've ever dreamed of my entire life. And that is the finished look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if it was interesting to you. Um, actually, let's, wait, wait, wait. We gotta put the lips on first. Hold up, hold up, hold up. So I'm just going in with Sephora, Sephora's Perfectly Nude. One of my favorite glosses. I'm just kind of throwing it on top. You can use this look. Um, I think I used a red lip. Um, red lip paint from Rihanna for Halloween but feel free to use this look however you see fit hopefully this video brought you some value if it did make sure you hit that like button comment down below and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell so you know when we drop in new videos don't forget to aspire to inspire love Revy